Hi, my name is Owen Murphy and I'm the Professional Practice uh, Placement Coordinator with the Social Care Programme in GMIT. I'm just going to give you an overview of completing the assessment form for students in their third year placement. As you can see from this page, uh, we uh, give a breakdown of the different levels that the students are scored uh, against uh, starting at level one, which is dependent practitioner, which wouldn't be a level that would meet the standards for a third year uh, placement. Level two, which is supported practitioner, would be the level that the students uh, could attain as a base standard at the midway point of practice. Level three, proficient practitioner, is what we would expect all students to attain by the end of their practice, only in proficiencies that the students have been exposed to. As you can see at level two, the student is displaying safe practice. They use theory and practice, but they're regularly seeking guidance and support outside normal supervision. Importantly, they're still acting within guidelines uh, in terms of policies and procedures. The level three student is displaying uh, the use of evidence-informed practice. They're skilled in forming relationships. Their practice is safe all the time. They've integrated responsibility for their actions. Uh, reflective practice, but also seeking assistance when necessary. They're working well in all collaborative practice with all stakeholders, working well within boundaries, engaging in supervision, and also uh, seeking opportunities in terms of continual professional development. The assessment and grading of students happen at both the midway point and at the final part of placement. This is conducted by the practice lecture uh, previously known as the supervisor uh, with the student. The midway uh, assessment happens after week seven or during week seven and the final assessment happens towards the end of placement. There are also two review meetings held uh, to correspond to those uh, two points of assessment during placement and both of those happen with the practice lecture from the college uh, checking in at the midway and the final part. These check-in sessions happen after the assessment has been complete. You can see from this particular page uh, at towards the end of the page in terms of the final review meeting that there is a layout for how that session is conducted. It's particularly important that the student uh, gives a clear overview of the observed planned intervention that it, it has conducted. The grading of student is uh, conducted uh, within the body of this document. And as you can see, there will be five domains mentioned uh, with, within this document. Also within each domain is each proficiency that relates to that particular domain. It is important to highlight that students are only judged against proficiencies that they have been explicitly exposed to and should not be judged against uh, any other proficiency. You will see that there is a breakdown of the assessment at both the midway and at the final stage. Students will be expected to achieve level two supported practitioner at the midway review stage. At the final stage of their placement within third year, they will all be expected to achieve proficient practitioner. If the student doesn't achieve at the midway point, a level two, a learning support plan will be put in place and agreed between the student, the practice educator, and the practice lecturer. 
this will give the student as much chance as possible in order to focus on those particular proficiencies and give them the best opportunity to improve upon those for the remaining part of their placement. The same process can also be engaged in at the final stage of placement. It is important to highlight that the responsibility for the final grading of students rests with the program board within GMIT and it's not the responsibility of the practice educator. You will see on this screen uh, it gives a opportunity at both the midway and at the final stage of assessment for comments by both the practice educator and also the student. You will also notice that the practice lecture must sign off at both the midway point and at the final point. This can be done uh, at the, uh, in the final review meeting. It's also important to highlight that the responsibility of returning this particular document, the assessment record book, is done by the student at the end of placement. <laughs>